Well, hi, it is a very good morning from me, Neil Maurice, returning with this free transmission to you on Friday, the 11th of February. And as I look out of my window, beautifully clement conditions in this part of Oxfordshire. The sun is shining. It's an azure blue sky. Bit chilly out there, but how lovely to have winter conditions like that. Not so much precipitation through January. That's followed into February. I'm sure trainers will be getting a little bit antsy about the situation regarding the Cheltenham Festival. Most of them will be hoping that we get some rain at some point. I personally hope that all the rain comes right before the festival so that we could possibly get old-fashioned jumping ground at that wonderful meeting that wonderful occasion. Let's hope that we do. I think it would be a good thing for the sport. Yesterday, Soldier of Destiny, well, uh, what a great bet that proved to be. It showed you the benefit of me going on early when I have something that I know is going to be backed overnight. When I told you um, on the evening that it was uh, trading around nine to two, well, anyone who got on then will have been uh, rubbing their hands with glee when they looked halfway through the morning and saw that this horse had been back down to two to one for Jamie Snowden and Gavin Sheehan. And did it do the job? Well, you saw, apart from one glaring error, it jumped like a stag and it had the other stone cold. Good horse, that soldier of destiny. And uh, I hope you agree. Very good to get that one absolutely free of charge from my good self, Neil. And there'll be more to come. And I hope the next one to come is now when I tell you about the horse running at Chelmsford this evening. It goes in the novice stakes at 6.15. Now, there's a few in this with form, but I think even though he's not got the best of the draw, and that is a worry, number five, Grand Alliance. Now, this cult by Churchill carries the colours of Susan Roy and is trained by Charlie Fellows. Now, Charlie's a very much up-and-coming trainer. I, I say that even though he's had a licence for a few years now, but he is on the cusp of a major breakthrough, Charlie. I think he is a top man and he will go all the way to the top. Ross Orion has been booked for this colt, who last time out, I tipped him and he ran a cracker in defeat at Wolverhampton, being beaten into third by a horse called Zane Sarinda. Well, Zane Sarinda reopposes here, or I should say Grand Alliance reopposes Zane Sarinda. The problem is for Zane Sarinda that... That horse is now penalised, giving my selection £7. I don't think he's going to be able to do it. And I think that Grand Alliance will turn the tables. Not only that, but the price of Grand Alliance, well, that is absolutely eye-catching. 10 to 1 with Bet365. Surely that's way too big in an eight-runner race where you get three places for, for the each way. And 15 to 2 with William Hill. Most of the other firms are 7 to 1. I think if eight runners line up for this race, that is absolutely guilt-edged each way value. And believe me, this horse can win. He's improved since that run the other day. I think he'll give them something to think about. There are other Godolphin runners in the field, which you have to respect. But it's an each way bet for me on number five, Grand Alliance, in the 6.15 race at Chelmsford this evening. That is all. I will be back and that will be at the nine o'clock usual slot on Saturday, bringing you all my very best news. We've got tre tremendous racing in uh, Middle England. We've got Warwick with the Kingmaker Chase. We've got Newbury with the Betfair Hurdle, the Game Spirit and the Denman. It's all action-packed, grade racing right to the sky. Come back and I will reveal all with another free bet at nine o'clock tomorrow. And until then, have a great day ahead.